Pipers, and welcome back to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. Today, uh, Ian couldn't make it. He had a work obligation, so we're, the three of us are going to do it. Um, today, we've got an interesting Virginia tobacco. We're doing Peter Stokeby's Amsterdam. Uh, so we're get, we'll get started and let you know what we thought. A few key uh, information about the tobacco today. Uh, it is blended by Peter Stokeby. Uh, but the whole Peter Stokeby company is owned by Scandinavia Tobacco Group. So there's more brands inside of that group. Uh, it is a Virginia-based tobacco. Uh, so it contains, of course, Kentucky and Virginia. Uh, the description is a spicy blend of excellent fire-cured Kentucky and full-bodied rich Virginia tobaccos. Let me tell you, you taste every one of them uh, in this. Uh, it's just a straight, no-nonsense tobacco. Absolutely. Yeah. So there is no flavoring. What did you guys, uh, yeah, there's no flavoring. It's a str pretty much a uh, Virginia forward mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of, of the Kentucky Burley uh, in there for uh, some smokiness to, to help it out. Um, so, I mean, I guess the first thing we could talk about is the tin note. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think about the tin note? Well, once again, coming right out of the, coming right out of the tin, right out of the jar. Well, and I mean, Tin note, we've only found this in a bulk blend. It only comes in two ways. It comes in bulk and it comes in a uh, roll your own cigarette paper. Yeah, kind of a shag. Kind of a shag blend. So it, it's just a ribbon bulk and then a shag cut for roll your owns. Uh, right out of it. It was natural. That's all I got. Natural. That's all I got. It was just a lot of natural and a little bit of that woody. Earthy, yeah, earthy. That's a better word for it. Well, kind of earthy tone. Yeah, I got a little bit of the sweetness from the Virginia. Very little touch of the smokiness from the uh, from the Kentucky. Um, lots of um, the grassy hay kind mm. of smell to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that those are the the, the the biggest things that I got out of the tin note of it. Yeah. Uh, what about the condition of the tobacco? What did you guys think when it came out of the bag? Really? I, I at first I just smoked it right when it came in. Yeah, you know, it was a little. It was a little dry. Um, we ordered a, a two ounce bag of it, and uh, at first you can't really tell the dryness because it's nice and contained in there. But once we divvied it out and let everybody smoke and try it, uh, we all started to get the same feeling that it was kind of dry. Um, I tried uh, your method where you tried it out and uh, added some moisture back to the contents of it and kind of let it sit overnight with some. Uh, moisture in there to kind of rehydrate some of the smoke and it did smoke a little bit different but overall um, I thought I really liked this smoke this was right up my alley of the smokes that I really tend to lean for just a no-nonsense straight medium bodied smoke and you know talking about the moisture content I could see easily how this would be considered a roll your own kind of cigarette you mm -hmm. know kind of thing just because of the the actual texture of it and the not a lack of moisture, but just it's a little bit on the drier side. I can see why that would be appealing yeah. to a roll your own well, cigarette. Well, now, I'm sure that the, the 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 shag cut is similar, but this particular one that we got is made for pipe. Mm, yeah. It's a ribbon cut. It's a ribbon. Yeah, and it's it was made for pipe. Oh, when I got it, took it out, it was really dry for mm. me, really dry. I went ahead and smoked it in the condition that it was... Uh, out of out of the bag, and got some impressions from it, but then I thought I would go ahead and re rehydrate it a yeah. little bit, and I probably rehydrated it just a tad too much. But I went ahead and smoked it after I rehydrated it. Um, so I, I got two different impressions out of it by yeah. doing that. So and um, for the most part, it either way it burned evenly throughout the whole bowl it burned very little dog it burned the really whole. evenly but you got you got a sip on it you know yeah. for, for it not to get um, too hot you I'm, know I mean, like most virginias yeah, that's, yeah. that's all virginias for the most part uh, you got to you got to sip them slow cuz yeah. virginias will burn hot yep so it's these are sipping enjoying tobaccos they're not you know uh, let me get a quick smoke in right. 15 minute break this right. is you got to enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. um, overall, uh, what do we think about the taste? When I dr smoked it dry, uh, by the way, I enjoyed it better dry than I did mm -hmm. with a little bit of moisture. Uh, when I smoked it dry, uh, I got some some of the grassy uh, uh, 
earthy tones from it uh, at first. Uh, as I started smoking through it, um, got some of the tanginess that you normally get from Virginia, some yep. citrusy kind of uh, flavorings to it. But what surprised me the most was the pepper, the pepper back taste. It just sits on your tongue. For yeah. Me, yeah. Uh, uh, you let it, as, as it's going down, it's getting more peppery. Um, I let it sit. I smoked about a third of it, and then I let it sit. And when I came back to it about 30 minutes later, pepper was pretty much the mm -hmm. predominant taste yeah. all the way through yeah. at that point. That's when I did it dry. Now, when I did it moist, a little uh, with a little more moisture in it, the grassiness and the earthiness disappeared. All I got from it was the tanginess and the pepper. That's all mm -hmm. I got from it at that point. Cool. So, for nuance sake, uh, I would smoke this in the dry state mm. for me if I was going to do this again. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, with, with mine, we did the delayed gratification method on this one to where we just, we, we put it in the bowl, we charred it just at the top, and then we just, it kind of just sat there for a good hour and a half maybe. That's how long it sat there, and I got all the pepper tones out of it. You know, I got quite a bit of the spiciness to it, a little bit of the the grass and hay kind of thing, but a lot of the citrus as it's going down. You know, I got I get more of the pepper and more of the citrus as I'm sitting at maybe a third of the bowl now. So, I mean, I got a lot of the spiciness and it's just a straightforward, just tastes like tobacco yeah. smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah it, I mean, real good. it is an unadulterated Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you like Virginias, this is gonna sit well in your in, in your uh, taste mm -hmm. buds. You're yeah. gonna like this. This, is, this was right up my alley. Yeah. Uh, and, and mentioning on that, you know, reading the description, and it's just a plain Jane smoke. Uh, I would think that it would be kind of on the low tier when it came to the strength of the tobacco. You know, uh, how it kind of left with the nicotine hit and everything on it. And I was pleasantly surprised, guys, to, to say that this was a very medium-bodied smoke. I thought we would be on the lower scale. I, th I felt that that nicotine hit was coming across very well. It was a very medium strength blend, a little over, not anything strong like a lap ball. For me, it was more of medium to strong. Yeah, on, on I get that. the same one on that one. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just got a little bit of a head rush out of it. I, I sat down after work one day, went out on my patio, and just kind of started smoking it, and I was a little bit stronger than I thought it would be, you know? But it, it wasn't offensive in yeah. any way. You know, it's not like, you know, you got to sit down and take a drink of water or something like that yeah. afterwards now, but it was it, it was it was there now as I, as I was smoking both both ways dry and a little more moist uh, I never got any tongue bite mm -hmm. on it you yeah. know but but I did it pretty slow yeah uh, I did try it in a uh, in a mirror I've also tried it in a small uh, briar and I tried it in s several different cobs and of all of them, it smoked to me. It smoked the best in a cob, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's this why is, I'm smoking it in a cob right now. This is I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. this is this is a no nonsense American blend mm -hmm. tobacco. This is, I mean, made by Stokeby, so it's made out of Scandinavia and everything. Well, but but they, I'm they, telling you, you're, they're using Virginia. They're so using they they're using American tobacco and. You get nothing else from it. It's just American, Kentucky. Which is really as straightforward as it gets, in my opinion. Yeah, the yeah. best the best one it comes in is a good Missouri Meerschaum cob pipe. I mean, it just smoked best for me in that pipe. I tried it in a briar and didn't do it as much justice as a good cob did. I didn't, the, 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 the times that I did smoke it before I got here this morning, I, I smoked it out of my briar. I didn't try it out of the cob, and I'm trying it out of the cob this first time. I prefer it out of the cob. Mm -hmm. I really like it out of the cob. You get a little bit more sweetness from the corn, kind of, you know, burn on there. So I mean, it's just, I, I like it out of uh, out of the cob as opposed to a briar. Yeah, For and sure. I didn't use any filters on my cobs mm -hmm. either. So this I one just, does have a filter. It's, but I don't think it has a filter in no, it right no. now. No, oh, Okay, my mine right here has a yeah. filter. This one, this one's yours. Yeah. So. Um, another thing uh, on this one for price point, pretty pretty uh, mm -hmm. inexpensive. Uh, I saw it. For as little as two dollars and thirteen cents an ounce, hmm. and as much as two dollars and eighty cents an ounce, saw it on maybe a dozen 
websites, so it's out there. Oh yeah, you know you can find it, so it's it's not hard to get. Nope, it's 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 provided by everybody. It's a you know I smoked I, I smoked this yesterday at the Deerleys, and I didn't enjoy it as much at the Deerleys because I tend to be a little bit a harder smoker at yeah. the Deerleys. I'm smoke drawing faster. Yeah. Um, um, especially when we were working yesterday out in the heat yeah, yeah. and everything. But just sitting down and relaxing, this was not too bad. And for me, it's just a very middle-of-the-road, inexpensive, straight-ahead Virginia. Yeah, yep. right up my alley, man. Good bargain for well, you know what, what, what you're getting for the price and then what you're getting out of the smoke. It's really solid, really straightforward. I, I, I enjoyed the crap out of this one, to be honest what, with you. What did you guys think about the, the room note? Hmm. Just like, just like the smoke. I mean, it leaves a note to me that you're smoking, nothing overpowering, mm -mm. but nothing like, oh, that's nice. This is pleasant. Listen, yeah. feel that sweet, flowery scent in the air. It's really not. Now, this is, this is a smoke. People are going to come in. They're going to go, oh, everybody's smoking. Mm -hmm. and, but nobody's going to be offended by the, the air. Well, in, in it. it depends on how sensitive they may, might be to smoke because this one, to me, is more like, I hate to say it, like a cigarette smoke than it is than anything else. Although this has absolutely no chemicals in it uh, other than just straight tobacco mm -hmm. uh, and cigarette smoke does have that chemical mm -hmm, yeah. kind of smell to it. Um, I, I classify the, the room nut on this as neutral. It was yeah. a little smoky, but pretty neutral there it, it doesn't last very long yeah. in the room and so it you know it was just like there the, 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 there's no frills or no. any weirdness with the, with the room note i mean in the notes here we have just tolerable as the first one and that's exactly what it is it's not offensive it's not flowery and aromatic like you were yeah. saying there's, yeah. no, there's no casing in it so i mean no there's it, no there's no additional flavors it, it is what it is and it's just it, it's a it's a tobacco it is it's a tobacco it is. so all of you guys that are smoking or rolling your own cigarettes or anything that are wanting to try a different tobacco than bugle or tops or anything mm -hmm. like that trust me i've tried them and you want a good roll your own tobacco you know secondary smoke or primary smoke even as I would put it as my book mm -hmm. guys this is the way to go it, it, it even comes in a shag cut so that you can have it available to roll it in your own cigarettes yep. this is this is a great substitute for any cigarette smoker for any roll your own cigarette smoker that's buying from convenience stores or anything right now guys get this this is a great price this is a great bargain a lot more price effective a yeah, lot more yeah, price effective. buying a pack you know okay so you guys are, are praising it and hmm. i'm thinking mm -hmm. it was okay it was okay i'm not going to put this in my rotation um it's in mine it's it's it was just okay uh, just average ian on the other hand our son that's not here uh he didn't like it at all hmm. Uh, of course, he's new to pipe smoking, and he's primarily smoking aromatics. Yeah. And so I can understand that. Um, you know, maybe at some point he might gravitate to, right. to liking that mm -hmm. when his palate's a little more mature. Yeah, and, and th that's the other. This this has no depth, no complexity to it. You taste the Virginia, you taste the Kentucky, mm -hmm. and those are just tobaccos. Yeah. And I'm slowly going, and I'm going from the aromatic side whenever I first started a couple of years ago, and now I'm starting to get into more Virginias. From what I've smoked from Virginias, I get a few from my local that are pretty on the, they're on the sweeter side of Virginias. You know, they're not really big in depth. And this one, it, it was it was a little bit more of the Virginia taste, no aromatic stuff. So it's it's a good transition if you're starting to get into Virginias and you're like, well, I don't know where to go from here. You know, like. If, tried all the Virginias at my local shop and they're okay if you wanted to try something that's a little bit different a little bit heavier this would be a good one to do well, it's the same thing most Virginias like you get anywhere else they're going to have some type of vanilla flavor yeah and a lot they're of the ones that I pick up I mean yeah. that's that's just natural too is people tend to gravitate towards the sweeter things in life yeah well good for them yeah <laughs> I, I like this so overall what do, you, what, what do we give it guys it's an average smoke for me so you know, out of five, I gave it right in the middle. I gave it a three. Three? Yeah. Okay. Me? I gave it a three as well. Um, 2.5 just being a really indifferent smoke. Eh, that happened. This one left a few impressions on me, so I gave it a little bit extra on that three. 
I enjoyed it, but I don't know about daily rotation. You know, probably not. But you know, definitely for you know end of the week, sitting around at the weekend. You know, you want a little bit extra kick. This would be a good one for it. I Out of three. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the hell out of this thing. <laughs> this was a good one for me, guys. I gave it a four. Yeah. Uh, Ian, considering he didn't like it at all, uh, he gave us his impressions on it, and he, he emailed us the information, and Ian gave it a two, yeah. which uh, gives it an overall score of three from us. Three out of five. Or flights, tobacco, and whiskey. Yeah. So three out of five. Got a solid three. It's a good blend. It's a good medium bodied smoke. Uh, it is in my rotation now. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, good. Found something you liked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we do this. Good, good. Well, that's it for today. Uh, we'll have a 4th of July edition coming up next week. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a tobacco and talk about uh, an inexpensive quality pipe mm -hmm. that you guys can look at. Mm -hmm. uh, so tune in for that one. Uh, Please make sure that you leave comments. We're interested in what you think. Uh, if you've got anything you want us to try, please send that information in to us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, guys, guys, please leave your comments. Please. We read these comments. And you know we've, we've seen a couple instances and a bit of tips and advice and things that are helping us out. Um, Mostly, it's uh, just some good praise information, which we appreciate too. Absolutely. We really do appreciate your praise and your passion into this uh, this field that's uh, starting to boom back up in pipe smoking. Yeah. You know, yeah. we really appreciate everybody's input and passion into it. But please leave your suggestions on any tobaccos that you think we should try. Mm -hmm. Some unspoken heroes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next week, we are smoking a blend that is not going to be made by a major providers such as Corn and Deal or. Stoke could be or you anything. You can only get it in one you place. You can only yeah. get it in one place. Uh, so. But it is very available. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you this. I'm excited about this one, too. Um, as you can tell, all of us are smoking our cobs today. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I love this pipe. <laughs> what, which cob is that? That This is uh, from Missouri Mirshwam, and it is called the Five Star General. Mm -hmm. You spoke that in the previous video. Yeah, Gen you? It, it yep. is the Five Star General. And General MacArthur Cobb, and uh, this is what he smoked. He used to have these custom made for him, and then everybody started wanting one, so they started putting them on the line. I think oh, you're sure. compensating for something. Hey, mine, yeah, no. <laughs> mine, is, mine is a Missouri Meerschaum as well. If this is out of the Cobbett series, mm -hmm. this is the Elf version of the Cobbett, so it's kind of like okay. a church warden, not quite as long. But it helps it's cool the smoke. I like it a lot. This is my favorite cob. Which one is this? This is yours, actually. That so. is the uh, Apple Diplomat is mm -hmm. by Missouri Meerschaum as well. Uh, yep. And it's a pretty good little... I like it. Yeah, it's a good yeah. little cob. Good size bowl. Uh, you're getting yeah. enough tobacco in there. I like the feel in the hand yeah. of it. You know, yeah. It feels really, really good. But anyways, all these pipes are very affordable. Yeah, you can get them just about anywhere. Any brick and mortar. Uh, a lot of websites. And you can also go straight to Missouri Meerschaum website corncobpipe.com uh, and you can order it straight from them as well. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, All right. that's it for this, this edition. At the end of the video, you can see contact information as to how to get a hold of us. Uh, and until next week, don't forget, make all your piping moments count. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.